Leland Bettis of the local think tank and research group Pacific Center for Island Security has been tracking the missile defense system plans for Guam and the potential for a nuclear micro-reactor. That's not been disclosed by the MDA yet, but, you know, we've sort of been, we've been tracking this. Um, I think what really drew our attention was over the weekend, the uh, Senate Armed Services Committee's executive summary of their uh, NDAA uh, language includes this piece which asks for a briefing uh, for the Senate about the possibility of placing micro reactors in Guam. Bettis acknowledges that nuclear power has proven to be safe and can provide huge cost savings even for private commercial use. But he believes a red line is crossed if they become targets in a combat situation. Just imagine if these, these reactors are a principal source of power for some of the measures and countermeasures that the military is operating, they're certainly going to be a target. So, you know, that means that you know, the environmental impact is not just about how does the nuclear reactor perform in producing power, but how might a micro-nuclear reactor perform if it is targeted and hit. An article last year in the Military Times mentions Guam as a potential site for the nuclear equipment, which it describes as a 40-ton reactor that can fit into three to four 20-foot containers and provide up to five megawatts of power. The Army has been considering the use of mobile nuclear power for years in a program called Project Pele, ironically named after the Hawaiian goddess of fire and volcanoes. While the benefits as a power source in remote, austere locations is clear, there are drawbacks in battle situations. If, however, that reactor is struck during conflict, all the troops that are around that would be affected. So I think the concerns that they had about the use of these particular uh, power devices for military people is magnified tenfold when you think about the possibility that these might be placed uh, in proximity to a civilian community. The military has confirmed that the planned 360-degree missile defense system could have as many as 20 different sites scattered across the island. Betta says we need to know now more than ever what's going into each of these sites. The people that I've talked to talk about a micronuclear reactor and say, you know, if it's hit, you know, you need, you know, a set aside that's at least, you know, a square mile. Um, that's going to be a very different sort of thing than if you had, you know, a command and control module in your neighborhood. So. You know, I, I think as a community, we need better transparency about what is being planned on all these locations. Nestor Lacanto, KUAM News.